Hi, my name is Jack. I'm going to be walking us through a little session where I take us through from sort of my school experiences all the way to getting my first job in data. Um, I've been working as a data analyst at Dufresne, the data company. Um, we do e either augmentations or end-to-end -end projects for clients, um, integrating data services from data warehousing, cloud migration, business analytics, um, and all the while providing a top quality service for clients, really prioritizing their priorities and ensuring the best service for everyone. Um, this kind of work has been super engaging for me, and I've felt like I've really come into my own within this job. I didn't know I wanted to become a data analyst though. And looking back, I would have loved to have done or known certain things that could have perhaps steered me in the direction that I now am. Looking back over that time will hopefully give us some interesting insights that we can then relate to the data industry as a whole and how our community can start to outreach in these areas and make sure that people going through my journey in the future have the best opportunities. To start things off, despite my accent, um, I grew up in Murray, um, which is up north near the Highlands, and you know, completed my hires and advanced hires at the local secondary school. After doing this, I achieved some good results and went to St. Andrews University to pursue a degree in mathematics. And this lasted for three years. So I chose to fast track the first year of my education there. Um, following on, I generally Stuck around in Dundee, I was running an events industry, I was doing some zero hour contract work and I hadn't really figured out what I wanted to do in terms of my career or how to carry on my life as it were past university. Um, when the pandemic hit, I was in a position of being on furlough for both my positions. My events industry had gone down under due to us losing all our funds. And I recognized that a decision had to be made towards my career. I had a look around, I took several suggestions from friends and in researching a company named CodeClan, I found that data as an industry seemed to suit a lot of the things that I had learned going along the way, my aptitudes, my interests. So I signed myself up for a course. During that course, I worked hard on things like my professionalism, my networking, and starting to really enjoy these things that can be done in the workplace. Um, things like breaking down data sets and applying them to you know, whatever application was meaningful was actually an enjoyable process for myself. And it meant that when it came to interviewing stuff, I felt that I could truly be behind wanting to work in this industry. Subsequently, it wasn't too surprising that an opportunity eventually came my way. And now I work for a fantastic company and feel really happy and at home here. But how come I didn't know about data when I was in school or university? Uh, you know, and so to go through a couple of the areas that I think would have been great for me to experience while I was in either of those two stages or even afterwards. Uh, one of the major things I learned when I was doing my course was how coding really is a fun activity that you can engage with at any stage in life. This is also true for schools. And it would have been nice to encounter the idea of engaging in open source technology and engaging with coding as a simplistic tool almost to elicit information, to elicit learning. Um, opportunities like I you know, found a Pokemon data set that contains, I think, the original game. And it would have been so fun when I was 14, 15, 16 to be able to analyze using very simple techniques and data analysis, a few cool facts I'd be able to share with my friends. And that was a project that I could have done in my own time. I could have been taught within a classroom setting, or I could have had a group come in and explain that to me. Other things like the focus on examinations and the focus on academic continuations of whatever subjects I was doing in school, the career indications, the apprenticeship opportunities, the personal projects I could have been getting up, up to were not illustrated in the same way that they were in my later life when I really discovered the industry and the availability of all these options started to become understandable to me and if not visible again. Um, carrying on, my options at university, it was all thinking about this continuation of the academic 
understanding I had of my school subjects. I really didn't have a career mind intention. And a lot of my encouragement was on going to university because getting a degree will give you a job, not this career benefits from these things. And this is what you can do to do those things. Examples being that personal project, doing analysis on a data set, even at such a young age is so ex evocative of you know, skills and inclinations that you have as a person that may say that you should continue bearing this in mind. At university, one of the things I really wished for was that companies coming into these universities would be from an industry that really appealed to my interests and abilities. And whereas I saw there being engagements from the financial sector with mathematics students, or the software technology community coming in and interacting quite intensively with the computer science communities. I never felt like I had a home within mathematics and the career that could follow on from that. And as a result, the engagement that I had was on a pretty purely academic basis. Um, it would have been amazing to understand how the small amounts of coding that I had done during my degree could actually extend into these other personal projects. It would have been great to have roles in industries like data engineering, cloud technology, and machine learning all presented without these, you know, gossipy glossaries of AI technology or, um, you know, information processing, which neither of which are massively appealing to young people, but there's so many different ways that you could engage them and especially taking what you know could be a very boring R script and transforming it into something where even just coding itself can be an enjoyable experience. Following on, I realized this when I was learning coding with people from so many different backgrounds after taking time outside of university that in truth, I was ready for that experience then. And it simply wasn't presented to me in the way that was truly visible and easily accessible for a busy and unknowing student. Um, these opportunities are kind of things that the data industry could fill the space for. There are groups that are kind of already beginning to do this in various parts of the technology industry as a whole. If you look at Alton Tech, for example, who focuses very much on the LGBTQIA plus community and ensuring they're kind of the youth in that, I think it's the, um, well, the Digital Corpse does something else. Um, the mentoring program allows students in a number of colleges, primarily in the US at the moment, but there is a Alton Tech team within London and it's starting to expand a lot more globally where college students are matched with a mentor based on personal interest and their you know, personal identity and work together to uh, make a project that is presented towards people within the data, you know, data software, whatever industry they're focusing on. Those opportunities motivate young people to get into an experience. And I think UK and Scotland in particular has this incredible opportunity right now to take advantage of the amazing data um, industry, the amazing data community in Scotland and integrate these kind of services, these kind of opportunities for young people in universities, for young people in schools and get them interested in a topic that is fascinating for anyone. And it doesn't just have to be a maths kid like I maybe was. There are plenty of people doing chemistry who love process and documenting process, but are not that interested in the science so much or the experimentation. It's the information processing that attracts them. And that's the kind of student that would love to encounter the data industry at an earlier stage and discover a career to get into. Hopefully a few of these suggestions and ideas have been beneficial to an understanding of a young person's experience getting into the data industry. And hopefully we as a community can start to put in the work to really bring in these new generations, bring in the new talent and grow Scotland as a thriving data community. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a nice rest of the convention. Be sure to check out some of the other videos because they are incredibly interesting.